I wanted to come in and speak to y'all and use that particular song because we all know what that song is, What Do the Lonely Do at Christmas by The Emotions. That's one of my favorite songs, but today I want to talk about coping with loneliness during the holidays. And I know that there are a lot of individuals who may be going through situations, maybe feeling a bit lonely, um, uh, suicidal, uh, distressed, all kind of uh, 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 situations going through your mind. And I just want to briefly come on and, and talk to you and let you know how uh, I dealt with it and you know, hopefully provide you some tips that you could use to uh, uh, deal with this type of situation. So if this is your first time, make sure to hit that notification bell. Make sure to like, share, share, like, and subscribe in whatever order you decide to do so. Uh, <clears throat> this if, if this is your first time, my name is Anthony Third Eye Visions. Now check this out. Uh, as I got older, I really don't partake too much into the holidays. After I, you know, after I've read and, and done some research and found out what they are all about, but that's not what it. You know, this this subject is all about. Uh, this is basically built on the premises of just dealing with uh, loneliness during the holidays. Uh, I'm a family man. Um, when I grew up, we uh, during the holidays, we used to always go uh, to my grandmother's house and interact with, I mean, everybody. I mean, all of us we used to bring uh, gifts and put it under the tree, and we just had a wonderful time uh, uh, pulling names and sharing gifts and just really partaking in, in the high holiday spirit, and I really enjoyed it. My grandmother was here. Uh, my dad was here, my aunts, all of my aunts, I mean, just everybody, wonderful time. I mean, me sneaking little drinks here and just, just really participating in the festivities and not knowing that things are going to get different or will get different uh, um, as time progresses, which means the people that you normally see at this point in time, things may happen, God forbid, uh, if it's in the plan, you know, things happen. And, you know, you may not uh, see these individuals anymore. So, you know, the, the thing of it is we as youngsters, I, for one, you know, didn't really reflect on that. But you know, that exactly happened during the course of my life. And I'm quite sure happened during the course of uh, your life as well, in the sense that people that you, you know, kind of create a bond with and, and share a lot of holiday festivities with, you know, those persons are gone. They're no longer here. And that's what I had the problem of dealing with as time went on and just uh, looking at uh, the, the past and during the holidays, the, the times in which I share with uh, individuals, my, my, my grandmother, my dad, my cousins, friends, they were no longer here. So, you know, I, I just kind of like didn't really want to partake in any, any holiday festivities and things of that nature. So. You know, whenever a Christmas song would come on, I didn't I just turned it because it brought back so many memories. Uh, just sitting back and eating certain foods, the way they taste, kind of brought back certain many certain memories of uh, uh, the different types of cakes and pies that I had eaten over the past. So I, you know, it kind of put me in the mind frame. Of, oh, such and such we used to make pies like this, this, that, and the third. So. As time went on, you know, I I, I kind of like didn't want to, as I mentioned, didn't want to be a part of the New Year's, uh, none of the Thanksgiving festivities, none of the Christmas festivities, and uh, even during Easter holidays, but more so this this time of year because they have the Christmas, they have the Thanksgiving, they have the uh, New Year's, everything's kind of back to back, and that's when everybody, you know, all your family come along, come on from different parts of the uh, country if they lived out, you know, in certain parts of the com com country, come to your uh, grandmother's house or just come to one uh, house where everybody hang out, you know. So with that being said, it's not, it has not been that situation anymore. And I used to be lonely. I mean, how I dealt with it, I, I, I used to uh, be uh, very teary-eyed during this time, uh, secluded. I didn't want to be, you know, uh, bothered with anyone. I, I didn't want to uh, talk about Christmas. I mean, I was, in a, I, was, I was in a bad situation. It wasn't suicidal or anything like that, you know, but I just didn't want to participate in any, any festivities. I, I just didn't want to do anything. I mean, I, I did, you know, go to my mom's, excuse me, my mom's house and, and share a little time with her. But the memories that we had 
which 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 I had spoken of earlier, which was greater than what I was going through at this point in time. So I didn't want, you know, I, I, I didn't, I just didn't want to participate. And I'm quite sure that you may be going through the same situation of dealing with loneliness. You may have lost someone. Um, you may have been with a girlfriend or boyfriend at that time and, and that you're no longer with them and you won't, you feel like you're depressed. You don't want to get out of bed during these holidays and things like that. But I just can't, I, I'm, I can't come on here and say, well, just do it. It, it, it. it does take time. It really does take time, especially if you've lost a, a, a loved one or, you know, if you've had some type of tragic experience in your life. It does take a little time, and what made me kind of get over it is uh, my uh, fiance. She uh, kind of pulled me out that slump, and plus the fa fact that my I, I, I was, uh, you know, I, I had a family, uh, sons, daughters, and we all, you know, kind of created our own memories and things like that, and, and that sort of helps. She kind of uh, during this time, she she uh, made it uh, her point. To kind of pull me out of this and, and try to talk and just basically talk me through it and we just sat down and used to talk to her about the things that we did and just be open and share those particular uh, fun times instead of you know keeping it secluded closed up you know and, and not really having anyone to share it with so i figured the, the main tip that i could actually offer you is to talk to someone to share you know share with them the the things that you used to do back then and that, that you know and let you know that sort of creates an opportunity where you can laugh and talk and and just reminisce as opposed to just not dealing with it because that creates uh, pressure and believe me you know what pressure does at some time but yeah she helped me out of, of it we you know we end up having a child and and, and uh, buying gifts and just let my uh, uh, kids interact and, and you know just you know, just just share our times with them and, and create memories with them and and, and it sort of helped me got over it. I mean you know I have no problems now listening to a few Christmas songs and they bring me back memories and I smile and and, and think about you know what I was doing this time who, who liked this song as a matter of fact I did I went to my mom's house Sunday and was playing some Christmas songs and, and you know kind of you know at least keeping the little festive moments going on in my in my own uh way and what have you and i really enjoyed it but yeah it, at at at, at, a, uh, at a point in my life i think about a couple of years ago i was like man i don't want to hear no christmas song i don't want to do nothing man it, you know it's not the same or what have you but uh do know that life there are going to be some changes the people that you are with now you know god forbid something may happen to where you know these individuals uh may leave you because we're not promised so just make the best of the moments that you have and, and and find somebody to share with talk with or do something you know find it in your in your mind it's another tip to get out and maybe go make somebody else's life uh, uh exciting talk about you know uh, uh the things that you used to do share i mean being open and talking that's why i like this youtube channel uh, it allows me to talk and, and get a lot of things out of my chest because that does 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 help so you know, try not to, you know, to, to really reflect by yourself because that's not good. But um, those are the only few tips that I, that I can have, that I can offer you. I mean, if you have something, please put them in the comments. But I, like I said, I've, I've learned to deal with it in the way that, I, that, that, that I'm dealing with it now. And, deal, you know, as, as I mentioned up, up top, you know, dealing with loneliness, it can create, you know, a sense of uh, urgency in your mind, stress. And you don't want that because if you got kids, if you got people depending on you, you got to be there for them in the best way that you know how.